name is Walter Lundstrom, and I want to share a recipe I learned from a friend. Uh, she's Chinese, and she taught me how to cook pompano fish. Well, I bought pompano fish before, brought it home, cooked it, and it was a total disaster. So I decided it's obviously not a good fish. Well, she showed me how to do it a totally different way, and I'm going to teach you today. And I think, by the way, you can do this with any fish, but I will do it with a pump on the fish, so be ready to enjoy. Pump on a fish is an ocean fish, and there's a quick rule of thumb when it comes to ocean fish in contrast to lake fish and uh, river fish, and that's you need to salt the ocean fish half an hour or an hour before. I made a couple of cuts in this fish, I washed it in water first, and I tried to get plenty of salt down these cuts, okay? And then I put some salt inside it. And I'm not being shy here with salt at all. Um, so, and then I literally will put this fish away for about an hour uh, before I will go into the cooking part. That already salting makes all the difference. We want to give it a lot of strong, good flavors. So I'm going to throw in some garlic and make this easy. You just smash them. When you smash them, the oils come out. And it's a, you don't even have to take off the kind of the edge end part of the, of the garlic because this all just gives flavor. You see when I do the ginger, it's even even easier. So I do a whole bunch of garlic because I love garlic. And I might chop it up a little bit just because, but really it works fine if you chop it up. It works fine if you don't chop it up. So that's the garlic for, for the pump on a fish. And then we need some more flavors. So we'll do some, uh, some ginger and here's the wild thing for this particular recipe for the pump on a fish normally you always peel the ginger but for the pump on a fish the way we cook it is actually not necessarily I, I cut off any not great pieces but then instead of a fancy uh, cut off here all I do I leave the peel on and I just slice this really thin that's all it takes because, and you'll see when I cook it, the reason we can do it like this is because this ginger will cook for a pretty long time. If you add ginger just for one or two minutes, then it's gotta be in small pieces so you can they kind of like infuse the food right away. And the next part for the pompano fish is heat. And I have a thing for this Thai red peppers. Uh, and the thing I do with them is I can find them because they're like landmines. If you eat one of these suckers, it's not fun. So I always cut them exactly the same way. There's only one diagonal cut and they're always just cutting two pieces. So I actually know, like for this, for this fish, there will be three peppers. So there are six pieces of explosiveness hiding in this fish. So that's it for, for now. We're soon I'm going to start cooking the pump on fish. This beautiful little fish. By the way, it's uh, sustainably farm raised. Just you know, we're not killing any wild fishes here. So for this fish, it's going to be in a pan, very, very high temperatures. So we'll start by adding oil and heating up the pan. And this is literally, we just do maximum heat. Uh, I like to cook with avocado oil. Uh, it can handle a lot of heat without smoking and it's, it's not going to be, uh, it doesn't break down like many other oils do. Now it's going to take a little moment for that to heat up. I have this, the red pepper is bubbling. I put the red peppers in first. I want this oil to really, really pick up the red pepper. This is probably only 10-15 seconds. Then 
this ginger, like I said, which I even left the skin on, doesn't matter because they're going to be cooked so long here. And I, I, I put in the ginger and then the garlic in before the fish because to get the flavor really going from, from the spices, they need to be in hot oil, not for long, I would say maybe 30 seconds. Uh, I think that's probably 30 seconds. Now we put the pump on a fish in and I'm leaving, I'm leaving the power at maximum here. And I'm doing two minutes per side just to brown the fish. smells so good. Uh, sometimes the spices actually are so strong as you start coughing because these red peppers, if you heat them too much, I, I think there are particles of <laughs> something strong in the air. I think that's about two minutes. Turn in the fish over. Be really careful. You don't want to break it. And you can see it already got a little bit of color to it. Give him just a little bit more color on that side. And now, all I do, add a little bit of water. Put the lid on, turn the temperature down, and I'll give that 10 minutes. And I'm telling you, this is very spicy, very flavorful, but it's a way that you can cook any type of fish. Well, I think the pump on a fish is ready. Uh, it has absolutely beautiful colors. I wish you could smell it. Um, turn off this burner and see if I can take this off without too much of a mess. And the most important thing here is the sauce. And I teach you one of the trick with fish the best fish, part of the fish, is always the belly. It's the fatty part. Uh, oh, I'm so excited to try it. I'm so excited. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I think so.